Yeah, we go back to Mercator. And we've looked at this uh, Flemish map maker many times, and this is his world map from 1569. Now, why am I reviewing Mercator before we look at the moon maps? Because, believe it or not, Mercator actually came up with the method of projecting our modern maps that are still used today. Oh, yeah, and uh, funny about this here, uh, Promethean Aham, stole Ptolemy, trust me, bro. There's been a lot of questioning of Ptolemy from modern scientists that Ptolemy ripped off his observations or altered his observa- or altered his writings to match his observations. It's really, really strange. So I guess everybody gets questioned. Ah, KC, leaning ahead again, Mercator, North Pole map. Well, not only did Mercator do that very incredible map that KC mentions, he also did the first practical world maps. And here is that lovely North Pole map, again, as though you all are reading my mind and know what I'm about to show. And so, remember, this is highly questionable. What the heck is at the North Pole? Why do we have these four series of lands here? We know it's just an ice cap, right? A frozen, frozen ocean. But Mercator drew this map. There's pygmies up there. There's all kinds of crazy things up there, but you can't really go there. There's some sort of gigantic rock. On that other map, it was a humongous pyramid that was very symmetrical. I'm sure it's just representations. And, you know, Mercator didn't actually go to the North Pole, so how would he know, right? 